All right, I'm gonna demonstrate how to replace a tire on the wheel module of a Roomba S9 Plus. I've got casing removed. Most of the videos you'll see will show you how to do this, but the tricky bit, you'll see I've already replaced one of the tires here, because these tires are super worn down. The tricky bit uh, because on the Roomba S9 Plus is actually getting the replacement tire on here. On the S9 Plus, you have this uh, new type of wheel module in which this bit prevents you from actually just strapping the tire on like you can on other modules. I went ahead and put um, some traction tape on here, but even the traction tape didn't last very long. So it pretty it wore all wore out in like a couple of days of use. So first we've got to um, remove this spring. It might seem that you can't really get a tire on here, but all hope is not lost. So I'm gonna remove that. So this cover is going to pop right off, and that's going to cause the spring to come out. There we go, just kind of pop these two off here. So these little flanges had to be pulled apart this way, away from each other, in order to pop off of that bit right there. So here's the pin that was holding the spring in. So the spring is actually looped over this, and then that is put into that hole right there. So now we can kind of do that. Get the spring out. See, so the spring has a, a loop on each end. We'll put that back in in a minute. First, I'm going to get it out this far. So that's how far you got to get it out in order to try to get this tire on there. Some debris. slide this under this hook like so and wrap that around there so the tricky bit is how to get the tire under this you see there's really not a space normally to do that, but if you can get it on as much as possible, then I'm going to wedge it up in here, right? So now I can turn this wheel so that it'll carry the tread along on the new tire. Turn the wheel, see it, it actually did get under there as I rotate the wheel. Yep, gotta apply a little bit of force. The intention of iRobot is to make you buy an entire new wheel module every time you wear down your treads. They're about $30 a piece. These tires I got for $8 for a pack of four, and the Roomba takes two tires at a time. So if you're willing to go to all this trouble, you can avoid throwing these wheel modules 
into a landfill over the life of your Roomba. Got to give it a little bit more force there to pull this thing through. There we go. Appears to me that what I should have done was take off the traction tape first because it just doesn't seem to have enough clearance. I'm going to try this again. All right, now it'll have enough clearance. And the tire is already under the difficult part. There we go. And that tire, with all its tread, is now on there. All right. So now is the part where this spring needs to go back on there. So get back on. There's a bit right here that you have to kind of apply some force to pop it back in. So now it's back in. We've got our wheel module. And right in that hole is a, uh, a hook. You gotta hook this spring onto that hook. it on there. The other end is going to go onto this post. And latch. Whoop. Oh, I lost hold of it. All right. I'm going to grab it with the post. The other end of this. Oh, it fell out. This is probably the most delicate part of the procedure.
taking care to not let the spring slip off this little post. So now it's back on there. Latch it back in place. Those, those flanges. All right, so now the screw's gotta be put back in. Goes into this screw hole right here. All right, now to restore this into, into the Roomba. So, let's see. Okay, so I have this wheel like so, and put it in here. Notice there's the clip, by the way, that's what actually holds it in place. you're starting this and you want to get it out you reach down to the bottom here you reach all the way in and that same clip I just showed you is actually poking out right there you can press it that's how you can lift this thing out press that in it lifts out put it back in and it clicks back in place right there for this wheel you've got to lift this up right here sometimes it's a little tricky to get a grip on it, but you gotta get a grip right there. So, uh, if you have one of these, it can be nice, or something like it, uh, to actually just get under there, a spudger. See, if you lift that up, then you can lift under here and find the exact same clip. So, that's how you then can lift this thing out. So it's the exact same clip as you found under here. Now, if we put that back in, then we can reassemble the Roomba. One of the nice things that I appreciate uh, is that when you undo these screws, they don't actually come out. They loosen, but they don't come out. The one thing I'm concerned about with that is, what if the screws, uh, what if you strip the screws? Um, like, strip the driving grips inside the head of the screw, for example. And then you can't actually remove it and replace it with a different screw. It troubles me a little bit. I think that probably would be a pain to handle. Uh, if I had to handle it, I guess I would. Or maybe you can go with not white 100% of the screws fastened down. If that's what it ultimately came to, it probably would work. Rumo would still work. We get that one. And that one. And that one. just like they do when you're changing these rollers. Okay, those go in just, just like when you're changing the rollers. Put this back face up. This is how you get at the, you had to get that clip right there to get the wheel out and that clip right there to get the wheel out. So. That's why this had to be removed, the actual, the actual bin, dust bin, which has this handle. And then the Roomba is back to normal. Okay, I'm back. One of these tires, uh, one of these wheels wouldn't turn because there was still too much of its original tread. So I'm shaving off the rest of its original tread with an X-Acto knife. 
Now you might ask, is this really, is you know, going to all this trouble really worthwhile? It's up to you. I mean, you could pay $30 and just put the wheel into a landfill and replace the whole wheel module. Um, but this is, I hope this video has given you a idea of the um, amount of trouble you're gonna need to go to. Actually, I was getting through this pretty fast with two hands, but I'm using one hand to hold the camera. Uh, so I hope it's been helpful. And uh, if you want to know how to disassemble this thing, I showed you how to reassemble it, which is basically the reverse of the process. But a lot of the existing um, videos out there already cover it pretty well. Hope you enjoyed it.